bells jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse, horse, horse. Jingle bells, jingle bells, ding all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse, open sleigh. Three, two, one. Hey. Woo! 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 It's Christmas. I don't care what anybody says. It's officially December and it's officially winter. Those lights are ready to go up and Christmas can begin. What's up guys and welcome back to LSJ TV. Hopefully you enjoyed that little opening clip there. If you did, let me know by leaving a like, comment and subscribe if you are new to the channel. It was actually just uh, <laughs> me and my dad always have this like little bonding activity. We put up the Christmas lights outside. We go a bit over the top, but it's just what my family likes to do to get into the Christmas spirit and I personally love doing it as well. Drop in the comment section down below what you do with your family at this time of year as well. I'll be interested to know. Get a conversation with you guys going as well. So I, was, I know I said the next video would be back at the home gym but do not worry I am actually back in Nottingham now for what for a lot of reasons but like family time I had some much needed family time didn't go to the gym for the whole weekend so I didn't actually get to train but do not worry I'll be back for the Christmas holidays very very soon and the home gym videos will be back so with that said let's get on with today's video guys and let's get it started Right, so I wanted to just quickly talk to you guys about um, what I'm eating here. This is three whole eggs and a splash of milk, one mini bagel and one sandwich thin. Essentially what that correlates to is around about one and a half slices of sort of normal bread and obviously the calories, the fats, the proteins and the carbs from everything else. If you look at the plate, that's a lot of freaking food. And what I was talking to, uh, I was actually talking to my mum about it earlier. The amount of foods that I'm eating. Obviously, I will be doing full days of eating over the next couple of weeks or so. But like I said, that's been a lot more difficult than it seems to pump out that kind of content. So, well, well, anyway, stay on track, Liam. Stay on track. This food is going to be my pre-workout meal. Quite often, it's my breakfast. And so, actually, this is good slow-burning fuel that's going to keep me going throughout the day. Or, in this case, keep me going throughout the workout. And it does seem like a lot of food. And that's because it is. Three, three eggs is a fair amount, a splash of milk to bulk it out a little bit, and the two bread items as well, right? That might seem like a lot, but I am bulking, and I'm actually behind, I was 179.8 pounds today. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to be just over 180 by now, so I'm actually a little bit behind, so I can afford to eat a little bit more food. So I wanted to just quickly point out sort of the volume of the foods that I'm eating, but also the food sources aren't really that bad at all. It's not like I'm eating pizza every day and everything like that. Probably like I did in first year. I don't want to get first year fat. OGs of the channel will know exactly what I'm talking about. Anyway. I am going to enjoy this nice meal. I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Nice one, thank you, mate. Currently en route to the gym. First stop, post office. There are so many packages coming out lately. You, you guys are getting generous around the holidays. Right, it is chest day. Finishing off a pre-workout. Let's go. Right, to cut long story short, what always, always, always happens and what I always talk about in the videos is that I cannot afford to lose access to that gym. Long story short, there was three people working, I think they were discussing moving machines around and stuff, which is much needed by the way, the layout is I couldn't record that much, I managed to get about three or four sets recorded, so this is what I managed to get done.
now, it's around about half past eight and I'm having my post-workout meal. I feel like I've just been sat here eating for the entire video, but anyway, I've got some chili and rice, one of my favorite meals to make, one of my favorite meals to eat. So, I'm gonna chow down, I'm gonna chow down, I'm gonna eat this, I'm gonna finish it off, and I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Okay, so I've spent uh, the past couple of hours or so working on this assessment here. It's kind of cool because I get to actually talk about um, the gym and like body image and everything like that, how social media has affected it. It's very similar to this, um, which also kind of leads me on to this next section. Right, okay, so what I wanted to talk to you guys about, and as you can see from the title of this video, is quite simply, one word, balance. And the reason I wanted to talk to you about that is because, uh, no, I've not had any questions or any, any DMs about it or anything like that like I normally do when I address something like this in a video. But this weekend I had family time. Like I said, this video was supposed to be at home. I was supposed to be training in the home gym, doing a training vlog, a walkthrough, one of my favorite videos to do. Long story short, that didn't happen. And here I am back in Nottingham filming a vlog for you guys here instead. If you are worried about that, as I said late earlier on in the video, do not worry. I will be back home over the Christmas period and I will be filming lots of home gym content going back to my roots, guys. But anyway, back to what I was going to say, balance. That weekend of doing <laughs> doing no work, I went to go see my niece in the panto, which was amazing by the way, she was really, really good. That weekend set me back a good few days. Now I've got lots of dissertation deadlines, I've got assessment deadlines, I've got PT work deadlines. Everything is everything kind of comes at once, especially when you do lots of different little things like I do. Like this video has to be done by Wednesday, then another one by Sunday. Alongside that, I've got a couple of assessments and then separate dissertation deadlines. I've got meetings to do, participants to find for my dissertation. Uh, I just say, feel like I'm saying dissertation over and over and over again. But long story, well, to, uh, to cut that short, I have lots of things to do and not a lot of time to do them. And that weekend set me back a fair bit but the thing is I want to explain to you guys that that is okay yes it means that you ha maybe you get set back or you have to do a little bit more work before so you don't fall quite as far behind but then you just recover a little bit afterwards whatever way that you decide to deal with it having that balance between family time your social life and your education or your job or whatever it is that you enjoy doing and whatever it is that you know you, you happen to do that stops you from doing that or stops you from doing your work or anything along those lines that balance is something that you guys have to find and it's something that is incredibly incredibly difficult I mean I thought I had it at the end of first year I thought I had it a second year but now I have dissertation stuff to do and PT stuff on top and it's just a complete it's like before I was here then I came to uni and it was here now it's up there like it's just a lot to manage all in one go especially with these videos I don't, I don't think people realize not, not necessarily you guys, uh, uh, not, you're not alone in this, like people just don't realise how much effort actually goes into YouTube. Lots of things are done behind the scenes that you don't see, like I'm often seen just on my phone, if I'm at uni and they're like, Liam, like who are you texting? I'm like, I'm not texting anyone, like I'm, I'm networking on Instagram, building my business, building my brand and just expanding everything that I, I possibly can in the time frame that I have. So. What I'm trying to say is that it's, it's very, very, very difficult to find that balance, but it is so important that you find that you do find that balance. Because if you if you don't work enough, then obviously you're going to fall behind. But if you if you don't see your family enough or spend that time with your family or your friends or your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your brother, sister, whoever it is that you find that balance with, if you don't have that time as well as the work time you're gonna find yourself unhappy. If you find yourself working too much, you're gonna be unhappy. If you find yourself uh, if you find yourself going out too much, you know what, you'll fall behind on that work that you have to do and that will make you unhappy. So at the end of the day, guys, it's a lose-lose situation if you don't find that balance. Now, I can't exactly tell you how I found it, but, I think I'm getting I think I'm getting pretty close. There's no real strict formula, there's no black and white way to do this. It's just something that you've kind of got to figure out with trial and error, like, oh okay, yeah, this this weekend I, I, I probably should have done a bit more in the lead up to it so that next time when that happens, I can come back and not be so stressed when I come back. Like, it, do, you, do you guys see what I'm trying to say? I'm not trying to say that this is exactly what I've done, so this is exa exactly what you should do. Like, I found normally that if I come back and then just have, I, I either do one or the other. I either do all the work before 
or all the work after. I don't tend to do just a little bit so I don't fall too far behind. I either say, right, okay, on, on Monday I'm going to get this done, and on Tuesday I'm going to get this done, rather than saying, okay, I'm going to get it all done on Friday so I don't have to do it on Monday and Tuesday. It all depends on the individual situation and when the deadline is and everything like that, because like I said earlier, when you have these many different things, like you've got uni, you've got work, you've got your social life, you've got personal training, everything, Instagram, Facebook, absolutely everything that you have to post on, you have to prioritise those things. And at different times of the year, different times of the month, even different times of the day, even like from, from one minute to another, one priority can change. And you just have to sort of keep it all ticking over in your head. So that is the message I want, to, uh, I want you guys to take from this uh, video, guys. And hopefully, hopefully you took something from it. If you did, let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below because that will be helpful to me as well. Let me know whether the advice that I'm giving is actually any of, of any use to you guys as well. So... That is going to round off today's video guys, try to find that balance, if you have found that balance then let me know what it is in the comment section, if you need any help, ask any questions down in the comment section, I'll be happy to answer them as always guys. So that is going to conclude today's video and end today's ranting section of the video, so thank you so much for watching guys, as always remember, no regrets, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah, wiggle it about. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Smashed it. Get it?